A Highlands High School engineering robotics teacher has been inspiring his students to do well beyond just his classroom. Mr. Broyles has been working to guide his students to scholarship money. And as Stephanie Serta reports, he's also been putting them in touch with engineering professionals through a mentorship program so they can learn more about their future careers. I want to make sure that all my students know that I believe that they can they, they can go to college, they can graduate. J.R. Broyles has been teaching at Highlands High School for the last 15 years. And for the last nine years, he's been guiding students through the ACE Mentor Program to help them learn more about careers in engineering, architecture, and construction. They get to work one-on-one -on -one with a practicing member of the field and kind of pick their brains and they have conversations about, you know, what their job entails and you know, with our ACE project, they show them how, where they would fit in. Mentors with the ACE program meet with the students at the high school, but the students have also made field trips to visit with industry professionals on the job. It helped me know what type of engineering I, I like and I don't like. I know I like putting parts together and I'm more of a constructive type of person versus actually like with the computers and that type of engineering. They really give you like the inside, like how an engineering really thinks what they have to go through. And it's like a lot of like stress relief because you think, oh, you don't know what's going on. But then as you talk to them, like you learn more. It's like, oh, it's not as hard as you think or, you know, it's not as like difficult. You can, it's achievable. And ACE students like Julian and Brenda are not only eligible for scholarships, but paid internships before they even get into college. I'm really confident that they're all going to get some money this year and uh, they're all planning to go off to college. So I can feel good about that. Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.